Hi guys, so in this video we will see the key difference between two modern frameworks that is the two modern UI framework that is Angular and React. So Angular and React. So this video will be consisting of four parts. The first will be the comparison between Angular and React. The second part will be the advantages and disadvantages of respective frameworks and the last part will be the, the conclusion that when to use Angular and when to use React framework. So the key difference starts with that Angular is a complete and full feature framework while React is just a library which is used is only concerned in UI development. React does not have the, the, the testing component, the testing tools, the deployment tools and, and the supporting libraries. While Angular has its own testing tools, its own deployment tools and lots of tools. Due to this reason, Angular has a strong application design and a lots of libraries which is used to design the complex application. While React does not have, have that, so if we want to implement MVC in the React, so we have to implement the Flux library using the Flux. The second important and powerful tool which Angular supports is the two-way binding. While React just have a one-way binding. So in the further videos, we will see what is two-way binding in Angular and why it is more powerful or, or what is uh, the use of two-way binding. But if you if you are a beginner coder and you are, and if you want to store the code in a more uh, good fashion, so code optim uh, code organization is easy in React while it is somewhat difficult in Angular. The basic programming language which is used to code in Angular is TypeScript, while in React it is JavaScript. So TypeScript is nothing but the superset of JavaScript. For developing the UI, so Angular has a wide range of material design components. And while React also has some material UI libraries and dependencies to develop the UI. Then, so if you want to send a data from one window to another window, which is that is called as the dependency injection. So Angular allows the dependency injection, but React also allows dependency injection, but in some cases it does not allow. Angular is based on the incremental DOM uh, DOM concept, while uh, React is developed on virtual DOM concept. So what is the what is the incremental DOM and virtual DOM? So DOM is just we can say the, a skeleton of the UI, how the UI will look. So if you are changing something in the UI, so it get added to the existing DOM. While in React, a new uh, if there is any change in the UI, also a, a, a complete new DOM used to get generated, and due to that reason, it is more optimized and fast. So one, there is one more point. It is Angular is somewhat slow as compared to React, and React is fast. Some of the applications of Angular are uh, the Nike, Forbes, HBO, Sony, uh, PayPal, and Google used Angular, while React is used by Uber, uh, Dropbox, Airbnb, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Netflix. So mainly, Angular is developed and maintained by Google, while React is developed and maintained by Meta. Meta is uh, the new name for Facebook. Then, so then the second point comes. What are the advantages of Angular? So that the, it is well organized, and it the code is clean. While React is have, is uh, having code organization good, but not the but the code is not clean. Okay. So and due to the concept, as it can uh, used to create the complex application easily. So so that's why it's actually increased. And it has a lots of material design, hence UI development is also easy. It has multiple features like uh, handle routing, switching from one view to another, view simple view for one component to another component. Okay. And as Google is uh, always giving the updates uh, to Angular, hence the, we used to get a seamless and continuous updates of, of Angular. And Angular is mostly used when we, you are, we are developing the large application, which means, means the complex application. While there are some of the disadvantages of uh, Angular 2 that it is somewhat difficult for a beginner to learn because Angular as it, as it is used to design complex application and lots, and lots of features so it's somewhat uh, hard to get for the beginners and there is no manual or, or comprehensive documentation about how Angular can be used and uh, if you see if you stuck in a box so how to solve it. And its learning curve is also steep, which is somewhat hard to learn. In routing, uh, in Angular, we cannot do a lots of routing because due to the scope uh, 
ड्यू टू इट्स स्कोप तो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियोज वी विल ऑल्सो से अबाउट हाउ टू डू द राउटिंग इन एंगल एंड वाइन वॉट आर द डिस एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस इफ ओके सो देन सो इफ यू वी विल यूज टू ए बाइंडिंग सो इट इट क्रिएट्स द कंपोन एट द इंटरेक्टिव कंपोन एंड इंटर इंटरेक्टिव कंपोन आर सम वॉट स्लो एज कंपेयर टू वन वे बाइंडिंग कंपोनेंट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंटीग्रेट इट विथ थर्ड पार्टी इट्स सम वॉट हार्ड टू इंटीग्रेट द एंगल विद द थर्ड पार्टी and if you are uh, going from one version to another or updating from one version to another so it somewhat gets more complicated due to the change in the libraries and each and everything why if if we are working with react so react is simple to learn and understand okay so developer can spend less time worrying about the framework or how the framework will be uh, used and it, it is uh, it is only uh, done in javascript so java most of the coder knows already about how to work with javascript react allows to migrate from multiple versions means you can migrate from one version to another version easily in the Re- in react why it is so much difficult in angular okay so then then the phase, uh, then facebook has a feature called as code mod okay so that automates a lots of thing in in react so if you are having a lots of data coming from the database or from any blob so react is the best option because it can pass the data very easily and has uh, many supporting libraries to do the same but as i already said that react does not have its own mvc so we have to implement the flux the flux over there so that is the disadvantage that, that it is somewhat hard to build a complex application and a lots of setting must be done there and if you uh, and if you want to integrate that with the mvc framework so the the Re- the react user must know each and everything about the react so that is a, uh, another disadvantage of react so if if you are new to uh, to the ui framework if, uh, uh, and you are not, uh, you want to just decide about uh, whether to go with angular or react so so the conclusion can be that react is easy to learn as compared to angular if you are a very beginner so i will completely recommend to go with react because angular is somewhat hard to handle but you will get more features in the angular while react is just a library as always and ui and angular is a full feature framework two a binding is a very powerful tool or very powerful feature available in angular and, and in the next videos we will see about what is two a binding and we will also create a small a project of in angular okay react is fast as i already told due to the concept of virtual dom so this is all the conclusion which we can draw from the difference between the angular and react and the final conclusion is the same that if you are a beginner go with the react if you are a expert or want to build a complex application go with the angular in the next video series we will see about how to create applications in angular and much more thing about it thank you